What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Hunger Games, but this is not a regular Hunger Games. It's not a regular Hunger Games. <laughs> I'm actually in Beijing Canadian's new server. He's actually in here with me as you can see. And uh, I'm beta testing his new servers. <laughs> Holy shit, did you hear that voice crack? But anyway... <laughs> oh god. Okay, focus Kane. I'm actually not doing a live commentary like I typically do for the Hunger Games. This is more of a review, but there is gameplay in it if you're worried that you're not, like, I'm going to sit here and talk. But, so I will show you some gameplay. The reason I'm not doing a live comm is because the servers are extremely laggy. So I'll just be showing you guys some gameplay in the background as I'm talking to you. I, I kind of wanted to review Beijing Canadian's new server. So, what I think about it, aesthetically, it's super cool. I mean, all, all the maps look really, really nice, and it gives you a real MCSG server. The ones I that Clutch and I play, it gives you a real MCSG server feel. So it's, it's definitely modeled off the MCSG server. I mean, it does lag a lot, and that's why I'm not doing the live com um, because it just drops your FPS like, fucking crazy. But I'm sure that's a bug that they're trying to fix and patch. But. Um, so far, I, I do enjoy the server, and uh, so aesthetically, it looks really, really nice. Um, all the maps are really cool looking; they're fun to play um, when you're not lagging your ass off. But uh, um, now, next thing I did want to talk about is the gameplay itself. Like, um, they, they did add some new items to it um, that you wouldn't see in the MCSG servers. For example, snowballs. Um, when you throw them at people, it actually slows them for five seconds which is actually a really cool idea I think that's a badass idea and I think the MCSG servers should find something like that to because when you're chasing somebody forever it just gets exhausting and annoying but those snowballs you hit them with it boom they're slowed down and you get on them it's pretty cool so and I actually got hit with a snowball um, in one of the games I played you won't see it because I wasn't recording it but <laughs> um, and I ended up dying but I, I still think it's a really cool idea but uh Another item they changed was uh, the chest plate. They renamed them to boob plate. So you pick up an iron chest plate. It's an iron boob plate now, and uh, you know that's fine. I don't really care about that. That was just something worth mentioning that they that they changed. Um, they added a lot of uh, just other different items. I haven't discovered them all yet. Um, they added eggs, things like that. Um, but one thing they did add to the server was. Um, a, an in-game store, which I think is very, very, very interesting. Um, it'll either make or break the server because it's so. I don't. I, I don't know what I think about it yet. Um, I, it, I'm not against it or for it. Uh, I need to play more, obviously. But basically, what you do is you stand on a pressure plate, and it gives you all these items that you can choose from, um, whether that's a sword or um, food or enchantments or I don't know if they have enchantments but uh, I think they have potions in there for sure and then TNT stuff like that and you know I think that's interesting and it adds a interesting uh, or a different feel to the Hunger Games and it, I, I, I like it because you know with your MCSG points it's so they have points just like MCSG but um, with your MCSG points you can't really I mean you can sponsor somebody but like I mean, how often is that really going to come into play? I feel like those in-game points, you're going to be using those quite a bit, actually. Maybe every other game, every third game, as opposed to one at one out of 10 or 15. So I think that's a really cool idea, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I will be doing some gameplay. Now, now I'm going to talk about me for a little bit. I am going to be doing some gameplay on these maps. Once it gets a little bit less laggy and I can get a good game, maybe get Clutch in here with me. But um, I, if you... Now, whether or not you guys should buy a membership, I think that if you really want to meet Beijing Canadian and it's your live stream to meet them, then I would buy it. Because you got like five mods that are on all the time, like like right now, because they're just fixing all the bugs. And if you were going to buy a membership, it would be right now, because Beijing Canadian's going to be in there all the time. And so, I mean, if you really want to meet Beijing Canadian, then I would recommend buying Donor. And it's actually not bad. I, I think being a beta tester is cool. It gives you a chance to be a mod on a server, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you want to do, if you want to buy it, it's really not that expensive. It's five pounds, which is like seven bucks, like seven and a half dollars, and it, that's like really not that, really not that much considering it's like a meal. Like just don't go to Chipotle for a day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's really all I had to say. I will be uh, getting some gameplays of these, and I'm gonna probably do a 
couple games in a row on this map and see how you guys like them and whether or not you want me to keep playing these or go back to the MCSG or flip-flop between the two. So just let me know what you guys think. And uh, gameplays to come. I hope you enjoyed this little review sesh. And uh, alright guys, I'm Cash and I am out.